so to me um while watching this this episode two things mainly came to mind one that it does show you know that kind of battle royale um aspect to this show that you know everyone that is on this island there can only be one winner and ultimately they'll have to you know kill each other until there's only one um survivor in the island and yeah that's the aspect of battle royale but the other aspect that i think this kind of this episode did great was kind of a backstory for all these I don't know characters that will probably be important later on and what I mean is you know we got the backstory of one of the executioners that you know they're apparently very interested in like um kind of how everything works and we saw like a scene of him dissecting what it looks like to be a human body or something and he was very intrigued like he was blushing while doing the procedure and you know it very stuck out to me that his character liked uh, to kind of know everything to see how everything works I guess and yeah his you know, backstory we learned along with other executioners um the last executioner we learned the past about was towards the end when we're introduced to these um brothers one is obviously the hard rock cr blonde criminal with scars everywhere and the other one is this black haired one and we get to learn their kind of situation what came to this and pretty much they were you know sons of very good samurai I guess and later on their clan was you know dishonored and then they the two brothers ended up on the path of like they're homeless then they were I think they were like adopted in or they took control over this bandit group by being friends with them and sweet talking you can see in the episode and then as they were about to get caught, the older brother told the young younger brother, the one with black hair, to just run away and that you'll, you know, rescue me out soon. And I guess that's what led to him, you know, join the Yamada pretty much undercover like no one really knew. Um, he joined those ranks and, you know, he became one of the executioners and I guess from that point he, they, it was, he followed a plan to, you know, save, um, his older brother that's in the cell. So, that's how his executioner is, you know, there with him, like, that's how he pretty much shows his older brother, um, but after the whole introduction pass thing, we kind of get this, we kind of get told more about this island, and pretty much there's, it seems like we get to learn more about the ecosystem, kind of mostly the monsters, so one thing about that very interesting was that towards the end, these monsters show up and these weird Buddhist monsters and they talk and they say, you know, murder is a sin and all that. And, you know, I assume like probably 90% of the people that are anime only like me, I assume that, you know, these monsters couldn't talk, that they were just, you know, there. But apparently they do talk and... It was interesting that this monster said murder and sin apart from what they you know look like um like some kind of buddhist deity or something religious aside from that um i just find it very interesting that he said in like that these monsters have consciousness because it it kind of 
it, the, it kind of reinforces the idea that these monsters are a hundred, like everything on this island is pretty much uh, conscious and you know they know what they're doing. So like when they like let's say like they kill anyone that you know goes into this steps foot on this island, you know, and announce like the criminals and the executioners. They're seeing it as a way of protecting their home and I do wonder, you know, what they're really protecting to be this serious and say, you know, murder to sin. And yeah, I'm just very the whole scene just caught my, you know, curiosity about the monsters knowing what they'll do what that they're conscious and they know what they're doing and you know um the samurais and the executioners and how that will end up with you know what we saw in this episode with who got with who and you know what who formed the group and what happened pretty much but yeah i just found that whole episode pretty interesting like I said, it gets me pretty excited to watch the next episode. But um, I think I'm just going to end it there. Please leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.